Acids and bases are very common both in chemistry and in everyday life. In fact, um, you encounter a variety of acids and bases uh, on a daily basis. So here are some properties of acids and bases. You're probably already familiar with them. Um, I believe you've studied this before. But acids have pH less than 7. Bases have a pH greater than 7. Acids, acids typically react with metals, while bases um, react with fats and oils. In fact, um, that's how soap is made, by reacting fats and oils um, with sodium hydroxide. An acid will turn litmus paper red, and a base will turn litmus paper blue. Acids taste sour, bases taste bitter. Interestingly, um, a lot of the foods that we consume um, are acids, um, like lemon juice and citric acid, vinegar, stuff like that. Um, acids can damage tissue. Um, not surprising, bases do as well. Um, but in fact, um, both can be equally damaging to tissues, which is surprising to some folks. Uh, soap is a good example of a base, and when you wash your hands, you know how it takes a few moments to remove the soap because it's kind of slippery? Well, if you get a base on your hands, um, that's also hard to remove because it's slippery. And while it's on your hands feeling slippery, it's damaging your tissue, and it's reacting with the fats and oils um, that, are, that are in your body, in your cell membranes. So I hope this video um, was a brief introduction slash reminder of the basics of acids and bases.